What is up everybody, it's King Kunta, and I'm back today with yet another gold farming video. And uh, before I say anything about this farm, uh, I just want to ask you guys to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you guys find this video helpful, interesting, or sad, and demeaning. Just kidding, it won't be any of those. But uh, this farm is something I'm like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Also check the link in the description because I post all my all my gear and stuff there and there's a lot of cool stuff down there and you'll have a fun time. So go look in the description. But this farm is something that I am so excited to show you guys. You have no idea. Now I am going to give a bit of a warning. Uh, this is a twink farm. So the items we're looking for, uh, they don't have a very high drop chance. But if they do drop, you're going to be rich basically. And um, this farm is very RNG based. So... In my experience from doing this farm, I have gotten a, at least one drop when I was there. Um, and it's actually been up to around three drops, which uh, I made out very well, which is actually around uh, 150,000 gold. And uh, that was just in about, it's just over an hour, so we'll knock it down to about 130,000 gold in just an hour. And um, yeah, so like there's some very good items here, which I'm going to show you in just a second on the auction house. But just the warning is this is an RNG based farm. So it is going to like there's there's no guarantee you're going to walk away with gear. So I don't want to see any comment below saying this sucks because they didn't get it. Listen, I understand that there is a chance as with everything in World of Warcraft. But today we're going to look at just the first item right now. So, this is the first item that we are going to get, this twink item right here, out of the farm. Also, we have a few more, which I'm just going to start uh, typing them in, and I'm just going to show you uh, what they look like. Alright, here's the next one, right here. As you can see, prices are very uh, indifferent on these items, because some people don't exactly know what they have, and some people do. Um, this is obviously a twink item and the drop chances on it aren't super uh, large, but yeah, this is definitely one of them. And I believe, I'm just going to show you one more. I think this should be enough, yep. And uh, here is the next one and the last one. Now as you can see, if it only requires level 101, but the, um, the stats are of a 110 item. So this allows basically level 101... Uh, tunes to cut their XP, go buy these items on the auction house, and then go run dungeons, and they can actually get very good drops off the dungeons. Uh, that's or even sell dungeon runs. That's the whole point of this. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna take you to the farming location now. So I'm gonna cut the video, and when we resume, I will be at the farming location. I'm gonna tell you all you need to know about that. See you there. All right, what's up, everybody? We're at the farming location now, and as you can see, it's kind of uh, a little hectic right now. That's because this is uh, basically an insanely good farm that not a lot of people seem to mention, and also they respawn like stupid quick, and they drop very good twink gear, and a lot of us don't know about them. So, it is located at Valshara, right here, Moonclaw Vale, as you can see, and I'll zoom out to make it a little bit easier to raid on the border of Surmar. And I'm being attacked already again. As you can see, it is uh, quite difficult to not get attacked at this farm. Because uh, wherever you come in, they're literally just going to start aggroing you right away. And uh, as you can see, uh, literally you pick up so much vendor trash that it already kind of makes the farm worth it um, in itself. Because you literally just get so much gold worth of stuff just to like vendor right away. And uh, as you can see, you walk around basically this whole town. Uh, there's also another little area down here with some, but honestly, I don't even really mess with that because there's not that many. And uh, in this big wide open area right here is where there are the most of them. And uh, with all these uh, wild-eyed grill, what I tend to do is I tend to just stand near the middle because they will respawn quite quickly. And uh, I aggro whatever ones I can around this area. I don't even worry about the uh, boss. But uh, all these, and I'll just aggro them, and then I'll AoE them all down. So basically, this so is what I'll do. I'll show you. We'll go ahead and aggro some of them. And a lot of them will pop out. Like, you won't think that there's that many of them, but there actually will be a lot of them running at you. So, as you can see here, those are kind of all dying. You kind of just want to get a bunch of hits on as many as possible because the NPCs will still continue to kill them. 
It's basically just walking around and spamming uh, whatever your target button is, if you even have one. Uh, that's also the easiest way to go. Because after you hit them at least once, when the NPCs kill them the rest of the way, um, you are still going to get the drops from them. So, as you can see here, I kind of just made use of that where I uh, just hit a bunch of them and then as soon as the uh, NPCs start taking care of them I just kind of walk away because they will they will kill them till they're dead and the NPCs actually uh, don't die very often so as you see here I'm kind of just picking some up off the edges of uh, yeah see the NPCs coming to do their work maybe help them out a little bit but basically just run back, do the same thing, and uh, they will keep coming. This this farm like hype, will hyper spawn. If you can get uh, a few other people here with you to help you do this farm, it's, it's literally the respawn rate on these things is insane. Now, like I said, the drop chance on the uh, twink items is actually uh, quite low. It is RNG based, but uh, I actually haven't had a problem getting them after I put some time into this farm. Uh, and honestly, I just turn auto run on and then just keep running and spamming a target button. A macro would probably make it easier. Uh, I obviously am doing it the old fashioned way. But as long as you get hits on some of them while they're getting beat up like this, it's obviously easier with uh, a droid because you can hit things from so far away and then wait till uh, you know a minute or two uh, once their timer is up so you can go. There we go. Yeah, so you can go just get every one of them that you can. See there, hurry up and just get the rest of those down. You're going to get a lot of this vendor trash, as you can see. You just want to really make sure you're looting everything. And uh, the drop, like I said, the drop chances are low, but they are there. And uh, if you do get some of the edges items, you're going to be feeling pretty good about yourself. So, okay, good. I'm going to drop another one right there. All these will continue to get hit. Let's see this. Can't load it right now. But yeah, there is a lot of vendor trash that you're able to sell, and you actually make a decent amount of gold off of that itself. Um, not to mention the farm, obviously. The farm is the main thing that you should be going for. But uh, I, I definitely recommend you spend a couple hours here uh, out of your time because now that all the legion content is kind of dying down, we're starting to see a big uh, influx of twinks uh, into the market, basically. So we're seeing a lot of people come in and ne are needing this gear because a lot of people in legion are kind of bored they're, or they're through all the content right now. And uh, this, you know, the, all the current content doesn't really matter to them. So I highly recommend you guys do this now because the market as it is, is actually seeing not enough twink items come onto it. So uh, doing this, you actually have a good chance to sell your stuff off quite quickly for uh, some twink gear, and you have a good opportunity to make a lot of gold very quickly. So if I were you, as soon as I see this video, I would be hopping on this farm as soon as possible because a lot of people are going to start flocking to it now that I have brought attention to it. And uh, after I bring attention to it, I'm sure other YouTubers are going to start bringing attention to it as well. So uh, it's basically a never-ending cycle. After we find these farms, uh, they tend to get uh, basically bogged down for a month or two. And then after that, they'll come back up and you can go start doing them again uh, after some of these videos. If, if you will see this video doesn't have a lot of views on it, then obviously you probably got a little bit more time. But yeah, I recommend you go take advantage of this as soon as possible because it is one of the easiest farms to do that I've ever done. Literally, you could just stand there and be AFK the whole time and spam one button. And uh, it would, honestly, just go do it. Stop listening to me talk. Leave the video now. Go do it. And uh, I think I'm going to end it for the video. I do want to leave like a couple thanks and all that stuff at the end of the video. So if you're just not interested in watching any of that, you obviously don't have to stay. Um, but I'm just, I just want to say uh, thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, I've actually been growing quite quickly lately. If you, you guys might have noticed, may have not noticed, I don't know. Um, if you did, <laughs> thanks for actually noticing how well the channel is doing. Um, I'm, I'm glad I'm able to have people here to support me, and actually some people have been leaving some very uh, helpful comments and uh, stuff they like to see on my channel, stuff they want changed, done differently. Uh, it's helping me become a better YouTuber, so 
Uh, obviously, constructive criticism is always going to help me make my channel become better uh, in the long run. Uh, and I thank people that are nice in doing that instead of just telling me my stuff sucks. Uh, that that kind of hurts a little, but I am thankful for every single one of you that you even even just comment below. Um, thank you for helping support me through this, and uh, I love you all, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.